This installment is everything eyes and lips, the whole entire lips, of course, but also we're going to be talking about eyeliner, eyebrows, that kind of thing, minus eyeshadow, because that's a whole different video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll make sure that I link that one for you. Let's get into everything about the eyes and the lips. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right into it because there are so many of these that we have gone through. I'm gonna leave a list below and I will also have a playlist starting to put together of my yearly favorites, especially for this year. Let's start out with the base that we do on our eyes, which is the eyeshadow primer. I only have one for you. This has been in my favorites for the past four years or three years, however long since it came out. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. This is a mini, this is $13. I talk about this every single time I do a tutorial and I talk about this every single time I talk about primer because I, as soon as I found this one, I don't buy any others. I don't use any others. I will occasionally get sucked into what's new. Like I did try the P. Louise that sold on Morphe. It's nothing like this. This is just so good. And I will show you really quickly. This is very opaque. I just got a ton out because it popped at me, but this is extremely opaque. So what you're going to see is something that looks like a concealer, but it has the most gripping properties in it for eyeshadow. Like I did this look today. And as I was doing the look, I'm trying to just wipe a little bit of my eyeshadow away to blend it right here on the outside. It wasn't coming off. It wasn't budging. So I really love it. It is one of those that you just look at and you go, that's my love. I'm not going to steer anybody anywhere else. And this is the ride or die. So we might as well just stick with it because it works that good. I also want to talk about something that I use for highlighter on the brow bone. Now Benefit used to make this one that is just called highbrow that they used to do with either you could buy the pearl formula or you could buy just the matte pink formula. And I think they might have other colors too. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I would just buy this pink formula because I love this and it works so good to just go up underneath my eyebrows besides carving them out it gives just the perfect amount of highlight on my brow bone and it's the perfect pink color or very very light toned color for me i have tried anastasia beverly hills it doesn't work as good it is a very yellow so if you're somebody that likes warm go for that one because it has the two sides as well. It has the pearl on one side and then the matte on the other. Go for that one. Or if this makes another one, I'll make sure I make a note right here on the screen for you guys. But they have it now that has a pearl on one side and then this on the other side. So as soon as this goes, I'm gonna be using that because I do like the pearl. I actually have another pencil and this one is from Milani that I use on my inner corner. I use it on my inner corner today. I do almost every time. I like this one, but it is still a little bit too gold for me. It actually looks very champagne when you get it up there on the eyes. So if you really were to darken it up, it would look like this. But what I love about this more than anything is this is super budge proof once you put it on. I love both of those and these Milani ones, if you wanted to get other colors, most of them were pretty warm for me, but if you wanted to look at their other colors, they are so budge proof. I would love if they would come out with a ton more colors in this formula because that's a great shadow stick. Now, as far as eyebrows go, I don't do a lot of buying eyebrow products because I don't like doing my eyebrows. It's one of those things that I do because I know it finishes my look, but it is not my favorite thing to do. And I leave it till the very end because it's not my favorite thing to do. And I just, I think it's probably because my hand shakes so bad with my disability, but these are the ones that I love this year. So this is from Essence and this is the make me brow and this has little fibers in it It says filling and fibers and it's just an eyebrow gel mascara and I like this color as well I think this says for ashy browns or something like that Anyway, uh, I love the little tiny 
um, mascara wand that it has on there or eyebrow wand that it has on there it just does have those nice little fibers in it that will catch whatever little bit of hair that i do have and fill that in and the other thing is i like this on days when i don't want to completely do my eyebrows i'll just take this and use it almost like a paint and i'll just paint through what i have and even on this eyebrow i have where my eyebrow stops right about here almost halfway and i can still paint that on and it can still look like a normal eyebrow so i do really like that very affordable and then i learned about this one from glitzy fritzy and i love this this is from benefit this is the 24 hour brow setter and it's called a brow almost a lacquer and it really is it's almost like it just makes those brows stay exactly where you put them i have on this side and i think i've told you guys this before a certain amount of eyebrows that just stick straight down and throughout the day i would look in the mirror and they'd be sticking straight down and i'd be pushing them up well i don't have to do that with this i love the little bra the little um applicator here or the little spoolie here and i really like the formula it's great it does stick those brows in place until i take them off at night and i've been in love with that one and then from Revlon. This one came to me very recently, but I fell in love with this because this is a multi-use stick for brows and it's called the Color Stay Brow Creator. And I believe mine is in gray brown or brown gray. And I love the little tiny micro fine tip that it has right there. I like that it is a little bit more on the stiff side. And as I work with it, I can really look like I'm making brow hair while it's going on. I like the color of it very much. It works so good for me. And I like that it stays for a long time too. You have a spoolie on the other end, which is a great tool. I love having a spoolie in all of my brow products, but then you can untwist it right here. And it's a spring loaded shadow applicator right there so like i told you over here i have a very sparse brow over there you can go in with this and you can just fill in where you need to and this isn't the greatest applicator if you have super thin eyebrows but it will go in and it will definitely fill in any little sparse areas you just have to go with a light hand with a light stroke and you know go through it like this instead of i push too hard on there but anyway it is really beautiful as far as defining with the tip of the brow pencil you know go in and just define everything with that and then use that powder to fill everything in and then one of those two for the brow setters and you got your brows i even though i don't like doing them those are really good products i did re-fall in love this year from kvd beauty the tattoo liner i i love this this stays on so well it is such a good product for being a liner that I can control. I usually have to use a pen liner, not something that is a brush or has a really floppy tip because of the way my hands shake. And this one just does the job so well. So that's my high-end pick because you can get a very tiny little line on your eyes. Now my drugstore pick, I cannot find it anywhere, but it's from Profusion and it's very inexpensive. I think it's like $4 and you can pick it up at Walmart. It has the most micro fine teeny tiny tip on it and it works so well for me because when i just want to just really really super tight line the top of those lashes and you know just give my eyelashes a little bit extra oomph look to them that is a really great one because you get such a small line out of it and you can barely even tell that it's there it's very undetectable and looks really natural up against the bra the eyelash line and then for eyeliners i found the revlon color stay liners this year and i'm wearing the blue one today i'm blue and i have a brown and i love these i love that they have a sharpener on the other end and then they also have this little smudger. And I love having smudgers because I don't want a stark line. I want to really smudge it as much as I can. And that really helps. And these are very, very budge proof. Um, I've had this on for several hours. There's no fading. There's no, you know, watering of the eyes where it smudges out or anything like that and actually you guys are the ones that told me about these and i'm so glad you did because they are a great formula 
Now for high end, the ones that I have I've chosen today is from Bare Minerals. And they sent me these about halfway through the year. I'm wearing this one, which is like a champagne silver color. I'm wearing this one in my waterline. I really like it in my waterline because it just gives a little bit of glisten for when you want just a little added oomph. And going in there with a the black so you're not making your eyes darker. It's just a really bright, pretty color. But I was just shocked by how gorgeous and vibrant these colors all are. They're so nice. And you want to talk budge proof. Oh my goodness. And I love these colors. There's a, a bright blue, which is a sapphire blue, and then a deepened teal right there. They're so pretty. And then this one is a gunmetal. And all of them are just they're so nice. That one has the gray with a little bit of a shimmer in it. And they're so pretty. They're just really beautiful. And you want to talk budge proof. I think I already said that, but you want to talk budge proof. These are them. And then for mascara, winding the eye down, this is the 24 Bold Ever Mascara from um, Essence. I did a whole video on this, which I will link for you. Very unassuming plastic wand. It's not the natural bristles. It's a plastic bristle brush. I love this. It catches all of the hair. I feel like this is a great dupe for the Benefit They're Real. I wish that it had the little spikies on the end like the Benefit They're Real mascara does because that's usually what I catch my bottom lashes with. But I can wear this on the bottom lash line and it be there and not smudge. And I love that. And then very recently... And you guys know how I feel about Charlotte Tilbury. I usually do not get sucked into any of their stuff. I have like maybe three or four of her products that I really use and love on a daily basis. But this is a little sample of her Pillow Talk, the new mascara. I tried her other two or three. I can't remember how many there are. And they would not work for me at all. But this one with this formula... This will go in and it will get all those little teeny tiny hairs and it will build them up and it gives me great length and great volume. And I'm wearing that one on this eye and then the Essence on this eye today. And they, both of them, they just give the best volume and you can build them up without getting clumpy. I personally enjoy having a plastic bristle brush because I feel like sometimes when you have that other brush that looks more like just a hairbrush, then it definitely can clump really easily on you. This formula doesn't clump at all and I love the brush on it too. So I probably will end up picking this one up in the full size because I am that impressed with it and I've been loving it ever since I got this little one about a month I guess but I've been really enjoying this so much All right lips this was really hard for me to narrow down and I decided not to I decided to show you my favorite formula with my favorite color on lips from NARS this one is the precision lip liner This is a very almost purple lilac color I love this. I love the formula of this. This is very long lasting. It's a little bit more of a stiff formula so I can outline my lips and have it stay on. I can do, you know, fill them all in. It's going to be more like a matte. It's a beautiful color, beautiful lip liner. I love that one. And the other three I have are from the drugstore. I just love drugstore. You guys know I do. This one is um, LA Girl Shockwave. This is the nude lip liner and the color is Rosewood. This one is just a little bit lighter than the NARS one, but it is more creamy. It's very much like a very nice thick lipstick. And I like that one as well when I'm kind of wanting to fill everything else in. And then the other two are from Rimmel. This one is the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. This is their automatic one. And this one is in Addiction. And this one in Addiction is when I want to wear my rose tones or I want to wear my pink tones. That's what I line my lips with. Again, a very creamy formula. And then the one that is not an automatic liner. Again, this is from them. I think this one is called A Thousand Kisses, but I'm not sure. This is the one I wear when I want to do pinks um, and I want to do my mauve tones. The other one I can also wear on a nude lip day. So you can see the difference in those. I like them all for different reasons. Again, this one and the NARS one, they're a little bit stiffer because they are the actual pencils that you have to um, sharpen, but really like all of those formulas. And then this is hard because this next one, uh, as far as being a balm color, this one from Sephora is a great formula. And I'll have to throw that up on the screen as well. 
This formula is so good because it has a super balmy texture, but it has a high performance color in there as well. So you're going to get gorgeous color and you're going to get a very balmy formula and i love those but also for balm i also really did like the new plumping ones that they the high shine color reach plump and shine this one is in called mulberry plump plump and it's a beautiful pink and again this one you get that high shine that balmy product and you also get the color payoff so i do like color payoff a little bit more from the sephora brand than the the color reach from l'oreal but they're still both really good so if you wanted to just walk into a drugstore the l'oreal one would be great and before we go any further i want to give a shout out to this product right here which is the tata lip balm if you like the laneige sleeping mask this one dare i say is so much better i love wearing this this is so balmy it's so hydrating and so lovely and i can't even begin to tell you how long this lasts on my lips when i'm putting it on at night i put it on at night and i i can't believe how nourished my lips feel in the morning it might not be there because i can occasionally sleep on my side right but it's still i still feel like my lips are hydrated they're very moisturized i really fell in love with this if you like liquid lips i don't usually i don't usually ever buy a liquid lip formula but i did find these color stay satin ink from revlon these are very comfortable and i like wearing them and the color payoff is phenomenal on these it's so pretty this is called mauvey darling and it's really pretty very saturated color and you can tell it has just a little bit of shine this is very easy for me to wear so it's not really technically a uh, liquid lip, but it's really really darn close. It's very it just feels so much better on my lips I like a very glossed look to my lips So wearing liquid liquid lip is a little bit hard for me But I do like to wear at times a really nice color I'm gonna be investing in more of these because I think it's so good. I really really have been enjoying this Evelyn also did a whole matte Thing this year where they did their I think it's their color stay again and it's the matte um, audacious mauve is a color that I've had in their other formula and loved it's just really kind of a just a really neutral pink kind of a mid-tone pink and then this one is one that I wear all the time now because it puts the most pretty I shouldn't do this on top of a gloss and then try to swatch it for you guys It puts the most pretty let me get some of the gloss off so I could swatch it It's gorgeous and it is a beautiful super light light pink I love wearing that with the darker lip liners It just makes those lip liners come to life and then they blend together and they look like this gorgeous ombre look I really like that and then lastly my very favorite category on the lips is lip gloss i got introduced to the super lustrous lip glosses from revlon this year this one is just kind of a just a color that has just a little bit of light catching in it has a tiny bit of the metallic shimmer in it but it definitely um would just be a pretty topper uh, or if you just wanted to wear it as a gloss in the summertime so pretty this formula is really pillowy and really pretty and then another one that i have to tell you about every night i either use the tatcha sleeping mask or i use a uh, city beauty city lips and this one is a color that i'll use in the daytime this isn't one that i use at night this i think is called san diego yes i love this because it is a peachy pink and so when i pair that with any of my very um, mauvey or very deeper lip liners it just makes the most beautiful color and i love it for summer it's one of my very favorites but i, I wear the clear as a treatment and i noticed between that one and the tatcha that they just plump everything up and i have a really bad lip line right here that drives me insane because it's so deep and i've been noticing that these have been helping to plump that up it's not anything that you can do once they're there right but you can help diminish the look of them by what you wear on there and how you kind of plump them up so this is a really great nourishing lots of vitamins and then these glossed glosses from the sephora collection wow i love these these you can either get them in really sheer colors or you can get some that are like this one 
This one is my favorite. I love wearing this because it makes your lips look so juicy and yummy and it sticks around a long time not super sticky let me tell you what the name of this this one is regal and it's just got this gorgeous purpley pink color in there i'm just gonna blot my lips and i'm going to try this on for you because it's so pretty i feel like once you see it you'll be like wow that is pretty on lips there's the color and I just think it is so gorgeous. I love wearing it. It pairs really well with lots of different eye looks and I, I just really like it. And I know that was a lot and I talked really quickly, but I wanted to get the lips and the eyes in together today and I hope that you did enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments. Anything this year that you are loving that I need to know about, if it's lips, if it's eyes, let me know. And again, the playlist will be below of all of the yearly favorites. And I have loved doing this because this was the year that I really did a lot of testing and a lot of trying. And I'm bringing you the best of the best. And I'm bringing you as many options as I felt like. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Thank you for joining me. I love you all very much. And we will meet right back here in my very next video. Take care, you guys. Bye, friends.